I'm Myra and I'm a retired nurse. I think that yes, I am a hoarder. In the living room, there's clutter. On the stairwell, there's clutter. In the bedrooms, there's clutter. I hate it. It's just making my brain swell. I'm Missy, Myra's stepdaughter. Myra loves to shop. We do little thrift stores, consignment shops. That's nice. Mm -hmm. I like to look good. I like the pattern. Pretty. My mother was a stickler. When you went out in public, you looked your best. Bye-bye Okay, I will. Have a great week, Thank guys. you. I'm Maria, and Myra is my mother. I don't think I've ever seen her wear the same thing twice. Myra was very crafty at keeping us out. I would go to the home to pick her up and she'd be waiting in the driveway. I'm Sue Ann and Myra is my sister. I've never been in the house here in Chesapeake. I haven't been in my mother's house for about 15 years now. I wanted to keep it a secret. And you can't keep secrets for very long. Everybody knew us in town because he was deputy chief of police. He had girlfriends and we lived in a small town so people would talk. He left me for our minister's wife. When I found out that Malcolm was leaving me, I was just devastated. He f***ed over my sister. And look at her. I'm Deborah Butler. I'm a co-compliance inspector with the city of Chesapeake. If Myra doesn't clean up the home, she will be removed from the house it will be posted unsafe, unfit, and possibly be charged criminally. My greatest fear is that she's gonna die in that home and no one will know. Good morning, everybody. Good, Good morning. morning. Thank you for having us here. My name is Matt Paxton. I'm an extreme cleaning specialist. Your family doesn't want you living like this. And why is that? We love her. <laughs> Myra, what's coming up for you? You know what? Please don't ask me anything. So, I'm asking. I, OK, Sue Ann, I'm not asking. I tried to console Myra, and Sue Ann shut me down. I know you got to do deal. it, but please don't say that. Let her be quiet, OK? I don't think that she understands that part of this process is uncovering the feelings, talking about them, not holding them in, and shutting down. Somehow, we've got to help Sue Ann see that we all need to do our jobs if this is going to work. Myra, look at me. I know you're upset, but we have to do this. I'm here. I'm hurting, not only physically, because you are my mother. And to see you living like this, it has done something to me that I can't even explain. I need you to put your feelings aside right now. I want you to just find some kind of strength so we can get this done. So when I go home, I can feel confident that you're safe. You're not safe in here. The easy thing is to pull stuff out of the house. Now we really gotta start sorting through it. Okay, this can go. This whole box? Yep. This is garbage. Yeah. This can go, this is garbage. Myra's doing great. She's having lots of success in getting rid of stuff. All of this can go in the garbage. Okay. But the next thing I know, Maria and Sue Ann get into it over nothing. I, I said hush. You don't like it? No, I don't whoa, like it. Whoa. 
she was saying something to me and I couldn't hear her. I could say what the hell I want to say. And you don't want to hear it? No, I don't want to hear that. Man, back away from me. What you going to do? I kept saying, huh, what did you say? And then she just screamed. So what you still yelling for? And she went to her purse and lifted up this knife. I'm what? telling you, back away from me. What are you going to do? Years ago, I did carry a knife. And I did cut a lot of people. So what, you going to cut me? I cut anybody. You going to cut me? So I went in my pocketbook, and when I grabbed the knife, the knife came up. You going to stop You're me. not going to cut God. me. You going to cut me? She just happened to see it, and she took it to the moon because I didn't hear what you said? Don't let this brace fool you now, because there's an emergency room around the corner. One of us going there. Yesterday, there was a lot of concern about some of the events that took place. Luckily, Swan made the decision this morning to leave. Sometimes the best way to be supportive it's from a distance. Today we're gonna to focus on rebuilding family. All right, let's go. This is a seriously dangerous room. Debbie, what do you think about this? With all the oil, it's quite the fire hazard. All right, to earn our keep, we're all gonna clean for a few minutes. Okay. Oh God, help me. You can do it, Dad. Look at you doing it. How are we feeling over there, Myra? Pretty good. I got to get out, please. Myra's running from the past. I mean, there's always something deep down inside that causes hoarding. She's not willing psychologically to deal with the issues that brought us here. Letting yourself be vulnerable, it hurts. That's how we grow. Mm -hmm. That's why I want you to jump back in the kitchen again. Okay. You gotta face the fear. Don't let the fear face you. All that garbage needs to go. You have raised two amazing children. Maria tensed up. I wanted to find out what was going on. So what's going on? My mother had nothing to do with who I am. She went into nursing, she did this, she did that, but all the while, I was being raised by a whole nother family. There's some deep-seated secrets in this family, and I think it's important I try to uncover them. We've never talked about why I lived with Nana and not with you, or not even with Grandma and Grandpa. Because Grandma didn't want you there. You know what? Um, no, I wasn't good enough for my grandparents. I wasn't enough for you, and you just threw me away. <laughs> Do you know what it feels like to know that your family didn't want you? <laughs> Maria is really upset. This is years of pain coming out. Nobody wanted anything to do with me. <laughs> Maria was asking me to tell her the truth, and I will. I love her. She means everything to me. They do love each other, and they can move on while recognizing they still have some family work to do. Let's wrap up this day, huh? Yeah. OK. We've got one more day. We need to keep the focus and get this house cleaned up. From this point, we go up. You did good. I saw the couch, I could not believe it. Oh my God! <laughs> so Debbie, how do you deem this house? I deem it safe and clear, All and right. Myra is able to stay. Ah! <laughs> All right! It was mind-boggling to think that it could be this clean. 
in such a short period of time. Oh my God. <laughs> Hi. I'm so grateful. Hi, thanks for being a fan of Hoarders. And subscribe to a &E for more videos and click the links around me to watch more.